We are now in the fourth week of Advent, just a few days away from that wonderful, glorious feast of Christmas. I'm holding a cross, which is made of stones, and on each stone is printed a name for Jesus. Names like Lamb of God, Son of God, Bread of Life, Advocate. In the middle of the cross is the name Jesus. And above the center is the name we're going to focus on today, Emmanuel. We hear the name Emmanuel in both readings from the fourth Sunday of Advent. Today we're going to start with the Old Testament, and it's a rather short reading. Um, king Ahaz, an Israelite king, is told to ask God for a sign. And Ahaz objects. He says, no, I can't do that. I can't ask God for a sign. I can't tempt the Lord. What it really means is that Ahaz is afraid of the Assyrians, afraid that they will pounce upon the Israelites. But he's, he's still fearful of the Lord too, and he's not going to ask for a sign. He doesn't want to bother God. And Isaiah the prophet gets a little impatient and says, must you weary my God? The Lord will still give you a sign. The virgin will be with child, and bear a son, and shall call him Emmanuel. The virgin refers to a young woman, not the Blessed Virgin Mary, but Ahaz is told the virgin will conceive and bear a son, whose name will be Emmanuel. Now, let us turn to the Holy Gospel for today, which is from Matthew, and he begins by saying, this is how the birth of Jesus came about. And he talks about Joseph. And today's gospel is the story of Joseph and how the incarnation was made known to him. Joseph could be compared with Ahaz. Ahaz doesn't trust God. He doesn't want to be involved with things beyond his comprehension. He doesn't want to be involved in mystery. What we have with Joseph is the opposite. A man who is faced with tremendous mystery does not understand it, but will listen. And he is humble, as you can see, in the face and the voice of the Lord humble before that voice and face of God. And he is told by the angel, the representative of God, that Mary is with child, and she will bear a son, and she will name, and he will be named Emmanuel, a name that means God is with us. Would you notice, though, that at the beginning of the angel's appearance to Joseph in a dream, the angel says, Joseph, son of David. And that takes us back to our Jesse tree. Remember, we talked about it a couple of weeks ago. We talked about how a promise was made to King David, son of Jesse, that down the line, many centuries later, a new king would come who would be the king of the world and have dominion over the entire world. And so Joseph is part of the bloodline of David. And again, what does it mean to us, that name Emmanuel? God is with us. I think all of us are aware of how Jesus came at Christmas time. We're aware of how we celebrate his birth. But are we aware that 
Christmas is the feast of the incarnation. And that's about more than the story of Jesus' birth. The incarnation is the whole mystery of the Word of God taking flesh, becoming human, and living in the flesh for 33 years among us. It's about God living the entire realm of the human life. And so the message for us is, how do we make Jesus incarnate? How has he become the Word made flesh in us? And of course, that's what the new evangelization is all about. Merry Christmas.